Hallelujah. Let us please stand. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right. It is our duty and our joy always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And now we give you particular thanks this day for your blessing on your people who are gathered here in prayer, where through your grace we offer the sacrifice of praise and are built by your Spirit into a temple made without hands, even the body of your Son, Jesus Christ. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. to your will, he stretched out his arms on the cross and offered himself once for all that by his suffering and death we might be saved. By his resurrection he broke the bonds of death, trampling hell and Satan under his feet. As our great high priest he ascended to your right hand in glory and that we might come with confidence before the throne of grace. On the night before he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Test ye. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, and again he gave you thanks and praise. And he gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it in remembrance of me. Let us together proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again. 
we celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. And we offer you these gifts, sanctify them through your word and Holy Spirit, to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Sanctify us also, that by that we may also receive this holy sacrament and be made one body with him that he may dwell in us and we in him. <coughs> in the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us with all your saints into the joy of your heavenly kingdom where we shall see our Lord face to face. All this we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory be unto thee, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 And now, as our Savior Jesus has taught us, we can confidently pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power Disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. The bread which we break is it not a communion of the body of Christ? One body are we, for though many, we are one in Christ. The disciples knew the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit.